So as you know, we're in the season of Halloween. You know, it's October. This is a very strange month. You know, I feel like every year, October just gets stranger and stranger and stranger. Now, for me personally, I cannot stand October. I cannot stand the season of Halloween. It's like the spiritual warfare just ramps up around this time of year. And October is really a month where everybody celebrates, you know, wearing costumes, celebrates trick or treating, celebrates, you know, demonic activity. A lot of mischief goes on around this time. And people think Halloween, it's all fun and games, right? Um, a lot of demonic stuff takes place around this time of year. You know, there's a lot of rituals that take place, all right? There's a lot of witchcraft that's being done. And, um, you know, if you're someone that's in the truth, for the most part, you are going to feel the spiritual warfare ramping up in your life. And I just want to talk about, you know, the effects that, I, that I've been experiencing in this month of October, because October has been a very challenging month for me spiritually as well as mentally. OK. Yesterday, I had a very alarming mental health attack that I haven't really experienced this type of attack in a while. OK, um, you know, I was kind of in a weird mood yesterday. My my mood was kind of like a little bit all over the place. And I just wasn't in a good place overall, spiritually and mentally. Okay. And found myself having a lot of headaches, a lot of migraines. My allergies, I've noticed, have been on and off ever since July. But they've been much worse in October more than ever. Um, for some reason, I just cannot shake off these allergies. They, they've been ramping up for this whole month, okay? And, you know, when you go outside, you know, you see a lot of uh, the decorations, uh, the weird decorations. Everybody just goes all out when it comes to decorating their house and uh, their front yard, backyard, even their car. People be decorating their cars. It's It's crazy. It's just like, wow, y'all took all that time and energy and spent all that money decking, decking out your car. Like, I mean, I don't got that type of time and I don't I don't really do that. You know, you got people like that that will deck out their car for Halloween. And it's like, I don't see the whole point of that. But hey, I guess to each their own. Right. So it's like. You guys got to understand that Halloween is a very uh, demonic, pagan holiday. And as God's chosen people, we're not supposed to be celebrating Halloween. Okay, those are for the heathens, like Halloween, Easter, Thanksgiving, Christmas. That's what the heathen celebrate okay that's what the other nations they celebrate those holidays you know and when this spiritual warfare really ramps up and you're someone that's in the truth like it's different if you're just an npc like if you're operating an npc behavior and you're really not tapped in like that none of this stuff is really going to affect you OK, the devil mainly attacks the ones that are of God's chosen people and not just his chosen people, but individuals that are tapped in the Holy Spirit, that are progressing their life through Christ. They're overcoming their sin, they're repenting, um, you know, they're confessing their transgressions and all that. Um, 
they're pretty much reforming into a new creature of Christ. And you will get attacked in various ways. You know, your sin, if you're not repentant, it can definitely hold you back in life. It definitely can. Sin has a way of really stunting your growth. And that's why, especially around this time, you want to remain prayed up. You want to, you want to, you want to really repent for your sins, whatever sins that you have committed. You want to turn away from old habits that are no longer serving you anymore. Because you know, you can definitely be affected and the devil, his attacks will do damage onto you. But if you are spiritually armored at all times, no weapon formed against you shall prosper. Especially when you're walking by the spirit and not walking by the flesh. So, October, man, is a month where you really have to be on point spiritually and mentally. OK, this month, like I said, has been very challenging for me. And, you know, I find myself bouncing back from things that was a hindrance in my life for a long, long time. And through Christ, it's like I am overcoming and not just overcoming but I find myself reforming I find myself being transformed and I understand transformation it's it takes time you know this is a season for me personally to like transform in that new creature and to be a new vessel for Christ because I realize okay the old creature has to die you understand the old creature got to die in order for you to level up in order for you to get blessed in order for things that were affecting you things that were plaguing your life they can no longer plague your life because you're not of that old creature i found myself having all these allergies for months and months on end and it gets worse but if I just commit to fasting, intermittent fasting, let go of certain foods that are not good for me and I'm working out, I'm staying away from certain things, certain vices, um, I can picture that going away. My allergies finally going away because they've been really bothering me. They bother me at my job, especially at my job because I'm... It's like, man, look, the air quality is, in my job is just something's up with the air quality. Like I work in the city, so I know when it comes to that city, the air quality is trash. It's 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 trash where I live at. So I think the air quality has a has a part in play when it comes to my allergies. Right? The medicine that I'm taking is not really working. And um what else? Migraines, like I mentioned. It's just the amount of migraines that I've been getting this month, It's it's been intense. Not too intense to where I got to, like, you know, go to the hospital or some shit. Like, it's just been agitating this whole month. Like, on a scale from 1 to 10, it's probably, like, 5 that my migraines are, you know, in, you know, much in pain you know like that is affecting me it's not excruciating but it's just you know it's really just medium a medium level of pain so and I feel like in my dreams that I've been having I've been getting attacked in some of my dreams that I've been having and so this is a sign for me to put on that whole armor of Christ and continue to pray and fast when I need to. Um, I do that when 
I'm working overnight because I have no excuse to bite on anything when I'm working overnight, you know? So I use that time to go on a fast and to allow my body to heal in that time. So, you know, October has been challenging, but I hope to really bounce back better next month, right? Because as y'all know, y'all, we had the, um, the whole Hunter's Moon um, eclipse from October 17th. And so I know people were affected by it spiritually, mentally. The energy has been off. My energy has been off. All of last week, my energy has been pretty low, more tired than than usual, right? And th this is the stuff that you have to expect. But it's something you cannot be fearful of. You cannot live in fear. This is something that will pass. Like, this is temporary. I know what I'm going through right now. It's all temporary, and it's not going to last long because I got my faith in the Lord. Amen to that. And I suggest that y'all have faith in the Lord as well, because whatever pains or whatever transgressions, whatever um, persecution or trials and tribulations that you're battling, you got to understand that's temporary. The storms of life, they're all temporary. They never last forever. So understand that, man. So stay prayed up. You know, keep that spiritual armor on at all times. Keep it equipped. Do not unequip it. Right? Because October is one of those months where things get a little bit weird. Things get very uh, unusual. Right? And it seems like every October, it just gets weirder and weirder and weirder. More demonic activity takes place. More people are embodying that Halloween spirit right? More and more each and every year. So that being said, this is Solo Dillo Talks. Make sure y'all like for the algorithm. More content is to come. I'm out and peace.